Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about which Halo is your favorite Halo. I'm going to be saying mine and I, I want to see some comments on what you guys think is your favorite Halo. So, I'm going to go through my list. I ranked the Halos from best to worst. And my first favorite, m most favorite Halo would without a doubt have to be Halo Reach. And I like this Halo too, don't get me wrong, it's a good Halo. But Halo Reach just did everything so much better than this one, just because like the armor abilities in Halo Reach, they were much better and actually had a point. Like some of these, I feel like some of these armor abilities in this don't really have a point. Like the, the armor, or what's it called, the sentry in this and a few other of those, just, no one uses them because they're just, they're really not that good compared to, like you literally, there's like three good things in this, there's, in this, in this Halo there's jetpack, invisibility and um, that shield thing that some people use so uh, halo reach had it to where every each one of those things were useful in their own way which i liked and halo reach also added firefight and i i, I didn't think halo would ever add a mode like that and next thing you know they added like their own like gears of war like horde thing and i was a huge fan of that I played that a lot. It, it's this is by the way strictly multiplayer only. We're not going by campaigns because that's a total different video. I'd have to go on and on about what each campaign <laughs> was. But Halo Reach added it, they, the one thing I didn't like about Halo Reach is they got rid of the dual wielding, and I used to love dual wielding in like Halo 2 and all those. That was that made that a lot more enjoyable. So that's why I think Halo Reach is on my top. Next, right behind it would be, I'm gonna put two together because they're kind of the same game would be Halo 2 and Halo 3 just because they didn't really change between those games and the only thing difference with Halo 3 is they added Forge so I'm just gonna consider those two together and the reason why I think Halo 2 deserves to be this in second place is because it was literally the first Halo multiplayer they had Halo 1 didn't have like an online multiplayer, it just had um uh, it might have had an on- no, I don't think it did. It definitely did not. It didn't have an online multiplayer. It just had the one little free roam you could do and like fight your buddies or do something like that. Which was still fun, but it just- it wasn't an actual multiplayer. I think Halo 2 it had all kinds of different custom modes you can play too with your friends. I remember countless times of all my buddies and us making funny YouTube- or not YouTube- <laughs> making funny custom games. And just kind of messing around with it and having fun with it. So that's why Halo 2 would be up there. Also, I don't know if you guys played Halo 2 or not, but it had um, so many different glitches you can do. And actually, like that was like part of the game for me. Like there's like multiplayer campaign, and then there's like glitches. <laughs> we would spend like hours and hours trying to do the glitches. Like I remember, if you guys remember the map Headlong, we like got on top of like the tippy top of that, and we could get on top of other things. And there's like um, there's certain maps there's like you could do like glitch jump what is it called jumps or I forgot what it's called but you could do like these jumps where you just shoot in the air and land on stuff just if you like ran in a certain space and jumped on a certain spot it would super jumps yeah you jump on super jumps and they would shoot you flying in the air so that's why Halo 2 and um, Halo 3 are up there Halo 3 would be right behind it just because Halo 3 didn't invent forge which is awesome forge is really fun to do and it made, made it to where you can actually make like really fun custom games compared to originally where you only could use their maps. So Halo 4 or 3 did add the Forge, so it's got to be up there in the top 3. Going to number 4, I think it would have to be... I'm just putting Halo 4 there for now, because you know it's Halo 4 and it's got to be in 4. No, I'm kidding. Just because... It's a new game still, so it doesn't have. I can't really rate it just yet. It's not. It's not new, but it's still. They're still working out the kinks a little bit. It's a little glitchy at times. So, like sometimes I'll be trying to splatter people, and like I'll hit one splatter, and then the other one will like I'll hit him and it'll like flip my ghost, and it doesn't make much sense. And I'm I'm all about the splatters. You guys know that. So that kind of affects my my rank of it. Also. I don't know if I really like the custom loadouts thing they did there just because it seems a little cody to me and I'm I'm playing this to play Halo not COD 
that's just my opinion. I just don't. I don't feel like Halo should have custom things like this, and like this ordinance thing. I don't know if I like the ordinance or not, because I would gladly get rid of it. Because as you can see, I always get screwed with the worst ones, and I just don't have much luck with these ordinance things. So that's another downside. One thing I do like about Halo 4 is it's much faster than the other Halos. Like all the other Halos were so slow, like you had to like slowly walk around, find someone, kill them, slowly walk around again. It, it took long times to do those games. Another thing I do like about it is they have a lot of custom armor. Like you can you can pimp out your dude. It's it's pretty sick the stuff you can make in this and you can do you can do your color schemes, you can do a lot more armor abilities in this one than you could in any other one. So that's my ranking of these ones. You guys are going to have to tell me what you think on which Halo is the best. I, I want to see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and like it. Thank you guys for the support. You guys are awesome. Until next time, guys. Peace.